Loyola Chicago versus Drake, the Missouri Valley Championship and Sister Jean with the team pregame. Third automatic bid to the NCAA tournament on the line. Reigning NBC champions Loyola Chicago looking to clinch their third title in their last three seasons. Drake, of course, made the NCAA tournament as an at-large last season. Back and forth first half. Drake up six. Ball swung around to Tucker Javries, who nails the contested three from deep. That put the Drake up nine. Javries first half, ten points, four blocks. Just over five minutes left in the first. Loyola Chicago down one. Marquise Kennedy forces the turnover. Over a hero guac for the two headed slam in transition. Loyola Chicago up one. Just over a minute later, Ramblers up three. Kennedy drive sinks the fadeaway jumper. Loyola up five. A minute later, up six. Guac gets his own miss, kicks it out to Braden Norris, who drains the open three. Ramblers up nine. That capped a 19 0 run. The Bulldogs would cut the lead to two before the break, but the Ramblers looking to pull away. Mid second half, up three. Lucas Williamson crosses up his defender and nails the Deep three, Loyola Chicago up six. Williamson, a team high, 18 points and 10 boards. Drake looking to answer, just over three minutes left. Down seven, Garrett Sturtz gets it down low, absorbs the contact, lays it in, plus the foul. Drake down four after the made free throw. Sturtz would end up fouling out of the game. Drake would cut the lead to two on free throws. Ramblers trying to hold on late, 22.8 seconds left. Off the inbounds, Ramblers able to avoid the full court pressure. Ryan Schwieger gets fouled. And Schwieger would sink both free throws to build the lead to four. Reminder, game spread, five and a half to the Ramblers. So in shooing Drake possession off the inbounds, Shaquan Hemphill misses on the three attempt. Norris grabs the board and gets fouled. So he's going to go to the line for a chance to cover. Two chances to cover, as it turns out. Norris, 77.8% on free throws this season. First attempt sinks it. Ramblers up five. Second attempt, ball rolls around the rim and in. Loyola Chicago up six, currently covering. Now ensuing Drake inbounds. Ball goes off the hands of DeVries. Norris picks it up, and that'll do it. Ramblers going dancing. Loyola Chicago wins the Missouri Valley Conference for the third time in the last five seasons. Back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances for the first time since 1963-64. Make it a 64-58 final. Sister Jean is going to the big dance. Eighth conference championship in school history. A final game as a member of the Missouri Valley Conference for the Ramblers. They'll join the A-10 next season. Gary Parrish told you to take Loyola Chicago earlier on HQ, and it pays out. And it's now time for the Geico 15, CBS Sports HQ, presented by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com to see how much you could save. And for more insight into the big result, let's now welcome in CBS Sports College basketball writer and co-host of the Ion College Basketball Podcast, Gary Parrish. Gary, your reaction to this result, Loyola Chicago getting the job done versus Drake. First, just happy for Drew Valentine. I mean, obviously, when Porter Mosier uh, leaves for Oklahoma and they promote Drew, he is promoted into an awesome situation, inheriting a team that um, on paper looked like it would be really good. But nothing is guaranteed. You have to make it really good. And there were plenty of reasons for folks to be skeptical, uh, given that you know he was a 30-year-old who had never been a head coach before, and yet... He wraps up uh, this portion of his season with the biggest win of his career, a victory over a team that he had lost to twice in the regular season to secure an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, Loyola Chicago got down double digits early, and that's obviously problematic, especially when you're playing a team that's already beaten you twice. But they responded after going down 10 with a 19 to nothing run, and Drake never got even again. Drake did come back, make it interesting, but ultimately, uh, you know, Loyola Chicago prevails and will get Sister Jean in the NCAA tournament once again, and that's something I know everybody enjoys. Yeah, such a great story last year on their run to the Sweet 16. Uh, bench points, a big storyline here, 18 to 4. Uh, Loyola's bench uh, outscoring Drake uh, in this particular game. Okay, so this was a two-bid conference last year with Drake getting an at-large. Uh, that's not necessarily going to happen this year. Loyola Chicago, one of the stories last year, getting into the Sweet 16. We all remember Sister Jean. You mentioned it. So when you look at this team, what's their ceiling this year? Oh, this is a team that could absolutely go to another Sweet 16. I'm not necessarily predicting it, but... 
The computer numbers for the Ramblers have been strong all season. They're top 25 at Kinpom, for instance. So when you're ranked in the top 25 at Kinpom, you've, you've got a chance to win a game, um, maybe even two, uh, in the NCAA tournament. Lucas Williamson is obviously terrific. A lot of these players have you know, been on this stage before. They know what playing in an NCAA tournament looks like. And, you know, I would imagine, yeah, like you noted, the NBC is going to be a one-bid league. Loyola Chicago will be the only representative. But they should get something like a 10 or an 11 seed and then absolutely have a chance to advance. Again, I won't predict it, another Sweet 16 appearance, but if we're talking about Loyola Chicago in the second week of the NCAA tournament again, it will not be the craziest thing that happens in this NCAA tournament. But Gary, this segment is the Geico 15, so you know what that means. We're looking ahead to this week. We're, we're talking about bold statements. We're not going to get a bold statement for the tournament. We'll get a bold statement for this week. You've got 15 seconds. Give us a bold statement for conference tournament championship week ahead. That uh, Memphis, which we watched uh, just before Loyola Chicago, uh, on CBS uh, beat Houston, technically upset Houston inside FedEx Forum. I think Memphis now goes from a team that, you know, in January looked like it was definitely going to miss the NCAA tournament. Now, uh, not only will it make the NCAA tournament, but it will get the American Athletic Conference's automatic bid. I think Penny Hardaway's Tigers keep this momentum going. They're 10-1 and one in their past 11 games. They go to the AAC tournament and win three games cut down nets, and take a lengthy winning streak, you know, into the NCAA tournament. He is Ion College basketball co-host Gary Parrish, one of our basketball writers over on CBSSports.com. Thanks, Gary, for your insight into the Mountain Valley or the Missouri Valley Conference championship game. So, auto bids. This is what we're talking about. Of course, all the tournament champions get auto bids. We have three tournament champions that are in right now. Murray State, who claimed the Ohio Valley on Saturday night. You had... Longwood earlier today, Big South, and Loyola Chicago, the Missouri Valley Conference champions. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.